I suppose every great series needs a trilogy. Hello viewers, and welcome to a new Darky Star Hearts of Iron game series. This time, I'll be doing the dreaded m scenario. Yeah, that one. As I've said in the introduction, I've done 1943, 1944, and it would be a pretty good idea to finish with 1945. I'm going to be using the New World Order 2 mod because the last two playthroughs were in that mod. So I figured why not continue the tradition of sorts. I shall be playing with these settings and the rules are fairly simple. I won't cheat, I won't edit the game files or anything. I'm just going to save in some spots and reload. However, first of all I'm going to release the edited version and the non-edited version as proof of sorts that I've beaten this scenario. If you like my content, please smash that like button as if she's Becky and subscribe for more content because that motivates me to make even more of it. So without wasting any more time, let's um, jump straight into this now, shall we? Now I will look at that date with confidence because it would be a miracle to survive past 1945. Alright, so let's check the minutes. I didn't know we were playing Total Realism Project. I'm going to change the head of intelligence to Wilhelm Frick, Mr. Himmler to this guy and I'm going to go towards central planning. Now why did I choose this guy instead of Himmler? Well, I can afford to lose a bit of IC but our manpower situation is pretty dire because we are already on level 9 mobilization. And of course I'm going to abandon this guy. I think this takes care of the technology pretty well. I really need to conserve my manpower. So I'm researching antibiotics. Alright, economy should be next. I don't quite agree with all of this production here so I'm going to disband all of it. Besides the V2 batteries. I'm definitely going to need them. After I finish with the whole production thing, I'm going to go ahead with my plan now. To survive against the Soviets. Like that, the Italians now have access to some land. And at this point I'm going to save for the first time. For the next part of my master plan, I'm going to start building forts. Perfect, I built forts all along this line. So right now, we definitely need to completely abandon Italy. I need Italy to be taken out for this to work. Maybe this won't succeed the first time I do it, but I'll keep trying. I set up my rockets so that I would bomb them in Belgium, because I'm planning on winning the Battle of the Bulge. Alright, I think I have the front here secured. I'm going to try to punch to Luxembourg, go around into Arlen, Mons, Lelay and Dunkirk or Bruges, well whatever works I'll be happy with because I need to encircle them in Belgium. Alright, I guess it's time to fix this whole mess. I'm also going to build a few transport ships. So with the transport ships that I have right now, I'm going to save a few boys from the Coraline pocket. So this will probably take a few attempts as I said before, so I'm going to try my best. Okay, I guess it's time to begin our adventure. We worked after many attempts. The Soviets can't pass this line at all, since the British own these provinces, and I can hold them in fortified areas. I have to disband and rescue the boys in the Kurland pocket because they'll get encircled by the Soviets and I can't let that valuable manpower go to waste, so come back to the fatherland. I wonder why the Fuhrer did not do this. Alright, I'm very close in encircling the Allies in Belgium. I really just need that one last push to do it. So just breathe in... And out... Come on, it's so close. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, finally I encircled them. After that spectacular victory, I'll have to organize my army slowly. And by that I mean 
uh, I need to guard my coasts, otherwise the allies are going to start naval invading me everywhere, which I really don't want to happen. Seems kind of familiar now, doesn't it? I researched a technology that must be an achievement of sorts in this let's play. And beautiful, another much needed encirclement in Elsa's Lorraine. I'm not quite sure how the AI managed to get encircled in Calais the second time around, but I'm not complaining. You know, this can be classified as torturing the AI, but they definitely end this. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that this attack won't really help you much. This is really the only reason I'm still staying alive. It's because I keep encircling them somehow. Well, um, I don't have the manpower to fight anymore. I'm roughly 200 in depth. So I think I'm just going to sit up here and build up. Because I don't really see any other option. Yeah, I'm still surviving. I have destroyed them here in Trento. However, I just want to sit and build up my manpower. Because it's getting deeper and deeper into depth. They just won't let me, sadly. This whole situation is just horrible and very difficult to fight against. But at least if I manage to secure Italy, it will become much easier. Because I can probably hold them in Florence and Bologna and just not move the front at all. Alright, the front is kind of stable. I'm able to hold the allies within Italy and I'm building fortifications here just to hold them down so they won't invade me there. I have a pretty good army guarding the coast here in France as you can see so that the Americans won't land any D-Dates. Speaking about America, they um, they're pretty prepared to fight me. From what I've also noticed, Japan lost against the USA so they're going to be throwing all of the might against me. Which is um, not nice. Just in case, I left Venice unguarded because if we go by my last playthrough, the allies may land a few divisions there. Honestly, I'm not sure who has the guts to trade with me of all people, but thank you so much. I'm finally going to be building some submarines because I really need them. I'm going to be incorporating special forces into my army because they're pretty cheap to produce manpower wise and give pretty good bonuses. Finally, I'm not in depth manpower wise. I can't really flaunt that I have a lot of it, but I have manpower that I can actually work with. I would be lying if I said that this does not comfort me at all. Alright, my submarines are finally ready, and it's time for Donuts to shine. Ah, finally, I can be a headache in the Atlantic once again. No oh, poor AI, I've been anticipating this. Oh my, they just keep saying more and more to their death. This is probably a mistake, but I have cores on Switzerland, so let's just fight them. At least I'm producing 0.8 manpower now. Whew, that definitely got far too close for comfort, but at least I have 45 American divisions now out of the picture. Really, not sure why the Americans bother landing so many divisions in Brest if they're going to get annihilated, but sure. I guess there's some use in destroying many American divisions. They don't really have much of an army anymore. Paratroopers... Please don't fail me now. Okay, this is a colossal success. I managed to pair up into hull and re redeploy a few armored units to help with the Battle of Britain. Holy crap, I managed to take London and encircle a few units in Norwich. They are going to be destroyed soon. Yes. Alright, this whole invasion is just one colossal mess. But I am trying my best to make the best of it. I'll have to encircle the Allied troops in certain places so that I do not get destroyed myself. It's a good thing I took the initiative and invaded the UK when I did, otherwise that would have been just impossible to invade later on. I mean, I'm having difficulties already, but I can't imagine it being much worse. And just as I expected, they left the Italian front pretty barren once I landed in the British mainland. Good thing I still have a few rockets here and there that I've produced a while ago, that will definitely help me break through when I need them to. Another beautiful and much needed encirclement. I think I'll end the video here. I have to give credit to one of my Discord members slash fans slash YouTube subscribers, Max Carty, who suggested this thread of giving Italy provinces, them getting annexed, and the service just not advancing anywhere. I'm pretty happy with the progress that we've made. I mean, I didn't really imagine myself even being able to win the Battle of the Bulge, but here we are somehow managing to fight 
on the British soil. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thank you for the view, and I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I will do.